you know, Wolf, that today is White Day? Yeah, actually, I did. A little bit of trivia for you guys at home. That, uh, well, first of all, this is our term. Maru Pra! That in uh, Korea, Valentine's Day is traditionally a day where girls give something to a guy that they're interested in only. And this is our Protoss player, by the way. He is. No net. DG JYP. And then one month later, on March 14th, uh, traditionally in Korea, and, and Japan as well, I believe, is called White Day, where the men are supposed to return a gift to the woman who gave them something in Valentine's Day. So that's how it works here. I actually got a little confused. I saw, like, these advertisements and stuff, and I saw, you know, you know, flowery images and everything. I was like, is there something going on? Whoa, what is... Whoa, that's... Did he miss rally his command center? Oh, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. What is he? What is he? Is he hiding his SCB count to make him think that he's proxy yeah. to Rax? It's actually so clever. Whoa! Now he's actually sending them across the map. Now he's sending them across the, the map to actually proxy barracks. I guess they're hunting for space sharks. I guess. Is he gonna proxy barracks? I guess so. He's got the money saved up. He he needs to like otherwise this. He's got the sense. money for an orbital and another barracks right now. Once his barracks completes, this is gonna be. Whoa! This could be. Oh my god! Crazy! Oh, he's, he's gonna, gonna float them into the main per potentially here. What? This is something I haven't seen since the beta when you could BBS. Oh my goodness! And so, oh, that's weird. So I guess he wasn't really hiding them. From his to hide his SCV count, he was hiding them so that he wouldn't see them leave the base. Yeah. Now he may just attack. He may just use them on the ground, but it's huh. also possible that he floats them into the main. Now a zealot has been sent out early, and the probe has oh. been taken out. Right now, JYP has no real way of knowing exactly what's going on unless he did count the worker count. And I think he may have because he's sending his zealot around to kind of check right now. Oh, oh no, no he's he did. He, he is has no clueless. idea. He's trying to get ahead in a way. He's trying to go, oh, well, if you're going for this, I'll go yeah. next before core. He saw no gas after the barracks. He's thinking it's going to be command center after barracks. Uh -oh. oh, no. He is going to lose be horrible. One, one SCV. No, maybe not if the zealot hesitates there. Now he's not actually lifting these barracks in the main, uh, which I, I I mean it, it would have been cute, but there's not as much space. They thought it actually doesn't make sense for him to do that. He would be spotted. Would have been cute though. It would have been fun. Oh, here come the and SCVs. And there's the SCVs. Maru Prime, ladies and gentlemen, has a code S spot within his grasp, and he is putting it all on the line with this one attack. He is sending everything he has. JYP has spotted it. He cancels he needs the, the Nexus. Pylon wall. He needs three pylons to wall. And one and but two and three. But the Marines are already three. here, and this means the Zealot cannot fire while the Marines are going to work on that pylon. Oh my gosh. He's desperately trying to get his uh, sentry out. He force fields. Force fields. Nice force fields. A lot of these Marines will go down. The probe's coming off the line, and I think he is going to hold this actually, Moltrap. I don't know. Once that force field goes down, he doesn't have another one. All the SCVs and Marines will get in, and it's going to be four or five Marines versus one Sentry firing. A lot firing. of hesitation here by JYP. Oh no! no he's he's lose for the one pylon. pylon. The pylon goes down. He and doesn't have it. any buildings powered now at all. That is going to clinch it. Maru Prime, ladies and gentlemen, who's going to come out of the early deficit of 0-1 to get a 4-1 victory in this group and clinch a code S spot in his first attempt with some spectacular play. Very, very nicely done. Finally, the pylon goes up. The gateways are powered again, but it's too late, I think. He's lost so many probes. Yep, this game is over. Wow, and JYP, he did so well. Did so well in some of his games, got to 2-2, two, two, and was on the verge of being able to uh, get a spot in Codes as well. Well, Moltrap, we're going to have a base today. race with this one Stalker versus uh, all the Marines. Yeah, that's uh, that's not going to happen. I'm sorry, but this is not Broodworn. He's not Tempest. 
This is not going to succeed for JYP. And uh, Maru is going to clinch it. GG! Maru Prime and the STC are going to Codes. He's done it, man. I cannot believe it, actually. I cannot believe the amount of all ins we've seen today and whose all ins worked and whose didn't. Maru. Now becomes, I believe, the youngest player ever to have graced Codes. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. He's uh, 14 in American age, 16 Korean. But uh, very, very young player. And JYP, obviously very disappointed. He had that Codes medallion within reach. He reached out for it. And just as he was about to grasp it, Several Marines shot him in the hand. Yep, that. Um, you're actually coming into a next game, so hold on. Uh, well, maybe I was wrong when I was assessing the tiebreakers sure, earlier. But you seem so confident. I just. Well, let's double you. check it, and what the last game is. Okay, wait. So we have Maru is at four one. JYP is at so it's only STC, SC, and Alicia, and the STC beat SC. And the STC beat Alicia. I would have thought that he would uh, advance out of the tiebreakers unless unless the tiebreaking works differently in a three-way tie than it would in a two-way tie with the head-to-head. -head. STC. That's, uh, hopefully our, our producer can let us know about that. Yeah, because um, that's, that's what I'm thinking too. But it's 3-2, 3-2. Well, we're going to have Alicia right. versus the STC. Well, we're going to have tiebreakers. Oh, Alicia, Alicia versus the STC. Alicia did beat the STC. No. With the void rail in. Oh, we did we just have it marked I have, wrong? I marked the, the win the wrong way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you! My fault? Well. I'm sorry, No guys. wonder we were so confused. Yep. All right, so... Uh, all right, so then it is a three-way circular tie where SC beat Alicia, Alicia beat the STC, the STC beat SC. So we do have to go to the tiebreakers. We're going to take a five-minute break first, though. The epic finale is coming up next. I said that before, but I'm going to say it again. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 